All right, so today is part one of upgrading the 2009 MacBook Pro. This is the base model, uh, 2.26 gigahertz, I believe it is, uh, Core 2 Duo. This is the mid-09, and um, I just wanna show you, this has no mods to it at all. It's stock uh, gigabytes for the RAM, uh, stock 500 gigabyte hard drive, I believe it is, and um, it's basically stock from the factory, except, you know, way old so uh you can see here 1380 uh 1380 single core score 2455 for the multi-score you can see here i'm gonna scroll through this real slow there's all of the information right there if you want to look at that so um yeah i am right 2.26 gigahertz you can see here if i scroll down if you want to pause do that now to look at any of this And there it all is. So let's go ahead and open up the about this Mac just to show you. Mac OS X version 10.6.8, uh, Snow Leopard, I believe it is. And um, once again, there's all the information. So uh, what we're going to be upgrading it with is, uh, well, number one, we're going to be upgrading the thermal compound, which is what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, second clip part, whatever you want to call it, is upgrading the RAM. And then third is upgrading the SSD. You can see here, 250 gigabyte. There's any part numbers, stuff like that. You can see here, part numbers. And then this, I believe, is like $9 on Amazon. And um, there's the back. Anyway, so uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and shut this down and uh, get the bottom cover off and show you guys basically how to take this thing apart. All right, so as you can tell, I already took off the bottom cover and I used the uh, PH000 bit in the iFixit kit. And um, so that's what I used to get all the bottom screws off. It works perfectly fine. It isn't gonna strip them. So um, first thing you want to do is of course, disconnect the battery to prevent you from frying anything. So. I have my little spudger here, and uh, let's go ahead and get on this side and just simply pull it up, just like that, it is disconnected. So now you don't have to worry too, too much about um, frying anything, but it is still a good idea to have your wrist strap on just in case, you know, you have any static electricity, you know, you aren't gonna hurt anything on this computer if you have this on. So um, let's go ahead and start with getting all these connectors off. So start right here lift up on that pulls off and then this one right here pull that one off this one off this one off and then this one off which probably shouldn't do with my finger okay this one is oh okay so looks like you have to remove that little bit and yeah, you do. So I'm going to look very closely on how to remove this and then I'll tell you guys whenever I figure out how to get okay, it Okay, so basically to remove this little guy right here, you just have to get under it and it should pull right on up. There we go, just like that. You gotta be really careful with these because these are the same type of connectors that are in like Kindles and stuff and they are notorious for breaking really easily. So we can also get the fan one undone with the same thing there we go it's off and um let's see here we got that one and then this one and this one and then this one and i gotta see how to take these off so i'll be back with you guys in a second. all right so this guy is very very tiny you can see right there at the tip of my spudger that's where or this one right here is the one that we're looking at and at the very tip of it there's a, uh, a little plastic piece that you just pull up on and it's like a little latch and it'll just pull on right out. So now what you could do is, this is probably not the best idea, but slip your screwdriver behind that and it should, yep, just like that, pull on out. So let me see how to go ahead and get these other ones removed. Okay, so to get, for example, uh, this one over here, which you cannot see on camera, 
right here you have to pull up on this little metal part and then you basically have to just pull it this way and it will come on out so uh now you got to remove the i believe eight or seven screws it is and uh, I'll be back with you guys whenever I get those removed. Okay, so it's about an hour later, and I was having troubles with getting this board out. And the reason that is, is because my dad a few years ago spilled beer on this thing, I believe twice, and it seeped in everywhere, and he tried to fix it the best he can, but he never took out the board. And this plastic piece, or this plastic adhesive, or paper, whatever you want to call it, um, it had beer in between it and the board, and it was just so sticky, it was holding in the board. And I didn't want to break it, so I was very careful getting this uh, paper-like stuff uh, torn away from the board. But one thing that you do want to do, though, is you see this little microphone? It's normally supposed to be flat down in there, and this little connector or bracket, whatever you want to call it, it's over it. And um, the tutorial that I was watching didn't show the guy uh, removing this little little bracket. So you have to do that. It's just two screws. And then you could pry this out with tweezers or whatever. Um, <clears throat> it is also recommended to go ahead and remove the battery. Uh, it's not probably needed, but I did it just uh, in case, you know, to get some extra room. And we also removed the speaker over here. So then this little bit of plastic right there doesn't get hung up on here so uh let's go ahead and pull this out and show you guys so kind of in there now again it's kind of stuck oh dear lord where is it stuck <laughs> okay let me let me get this thing out and then i'll shot it out and you could see here the damage that we did to this paper stuff to uh get this board out and you just see how dirty and dusty and gross it is. I mean, look at all that crap around the little sub there. It's just disgusting. So uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and unhook this from there. And um, then I'll go ahead and give this thing a nice little wipe down and then we'll replace the thermal. All right, so as you can tell, I got the uh, cooler removed and um, it's just four screws and they have to be in the exact order. So don't get those mixed around and as you can tell, the, the thermal paste that's on here is just absolutely terrible. So um, I'm going to go ahead and clean that off with some rubbing alcohol and then replace it with this stuff, which you can see here, took it out of the packaging, goes with this little thing here to apply it to. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As you can tell, I went ahead and put on, put on the uh, thermal paste and put back on the heat sink and uh, now I'm ready to put it back into the all computer. Alright, so as you can tell, I got it all back together. And I just want you to keep in mind, this is not really a how-to. This is just showing you guys, you know, what I did to this thing. So, um, one thing that I do want to say, though, is that if it doesn't boot after you take the board out, which it wasn't doing, uh, you know, when I did it, you have to check this connector right here. This connector, if it's even out the just a little bit, it will not boot at all. It would show no signs of life at all. And that's what it was doing. I was afraid I completely broke the thing. But um, apparently if you just put this connector in all the way, and it has to be 100% in all the way. Um, and if you put that in and it is, and it boots, that was your problem. But if it doesn't, you might have messed up the board but you also have to be sure that you have ram in or else it probably just won't boot at all and um if you still uh if it's still not booting you probably want to make sure all of your connections are good uh plug it in and make sure your battery is connected so uh what i'm going to do now is uh put my phone back on the tripod and uh for part two and go ahead and replace the ram module so if you want to see me doing that go ahead and click on the uh, next video in this series